here are six things that you can do now to build a successful virtual assistant business. If building a successful virtual assistant business is something you want to do, but it has you worrying whether you're doing the right thing, doing the wrong thing, then you're in the right place. I'm going to share six quick things that you can work on today to ensure that your virtual assistant business is successful from day one, with number two and number six being crucial. I'm Catherine Gladwin and I've been a virtual assistant since late 2015 and since 2018 I've been helping women just like you start, build and grow their own successful virtual assistant business. We all deserve a happier, healthier, wealthier work in life. Now this is why you're in the right place with this video to build a successful virtual assistant business. Numbers two and six on my list, I'm just going to read through the list in a minute are crucial and they're things that most new and aspiring virtual assistants don't do. And it's only because they're not told. So you are gonna be in a great position from day one. Number one on the list, charge the going rate from day one. Don't undercut other VAs. Don't think that if you go in lower, you'll attract people. You'll just attract the wrong kind of client. And it is really hard to up your rates at a later date. Go in at the going rate. Currently, time of recording, 30 35 pound one of the crucial ones number two you can't do this straight away but have it on your goal list to ensure that no one client takes up 20 percent of your time or your income because if they do and you lose them you're in a bit of a financial situation and you don't want to do that as a business owner because it will cause you ultimate stress so that is actually my 20 percent rule i've trademarked that I'll tell you about that in a, in a minute. Number three, something that a lot of business owners don't do, and it's why they stay in full-time employment. They don't work out exactly what they want to earn from their business first. They just kind of go at it, get a few clients and not really think about it. So have a look at your outgoing, see if there's anything you can change and then work out exactly what you need to bring into your business to make it work, to enable you to leave your full-time job. I've got a free on your online calculator. You go to katherinegladwin.co.uk slash calculator and it'll work it all out for you, including tax and national insurance. So have a look at that. It's free. Number four, choose a maximum of six services to offer to your clients. I know and it, it sounds like it's really savvy that if you offer more services, then you'll have a more chance of attracting more people but it works in the opposite way. It makes you look a jack of all trades. It makes you look an expert of nothing. And it's really, really hard to market yourself if you've got too many services. So maximum of six. And if you've not yet worked out your services, go to katherinegladwin.co.uk slash VA dash services. Again, free download. I just keep giving all the time. Number five, and you're gonna know this one, but you've got to market yourself consistently at least for 90 days heavily to start getting noticed. You never stop marketing, but in order to start getting noticed, it's gonna have to be 90 days of heavy marketing, okay? Not just once or just get a website and think that people are gonna come to you, they're not. So you're gonna have to get over sort of fears and stuff. Number six, the other crucial one. Only take advice from people that you know for sure have built a successful VA business themselves. Not that they're just saying about it on Instagram. Do your due diligence, check for their website from when they were a VA, check for testimonials from people that they have actually mentored or coached and make sure you can find those people in real life as well. Do your due diligence because there's a lot of people that come to me that have given their money over to VA coaches that have not given them the advice that they need in order to build a successful VA business. So please be really careful when you're finding somebody to take advice from. Now, going back to number two, the 20% rule, I know you can't work to that straight away because at the beginning, you're just gonna have one client, but it's something that you need to aim towards. It's how I've built my business as well as other things that I've done that's meant that I've never ever been without money. And even when I was off sick for a year, <laughs> I kept my business going through financial, the way I'd build it and financially, I was absolutely fine. Now, my second bestseller, hold on, I'll get a copy. The 20% rule has got everything in it that you need to ensure that your business works at maximum profit and that you can have days off and that you're, you're never worrying about money coming in. It's only a tenner, it's over on Amazon. So go and get a copy, search for my name or search for the 20% rule and you'll find it. 
have a read through, keep reading through it, and that way you will ensure that your business always is successful. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe. Go back, find those other URLs as well, work out your income and work out your services and let me know in the comments when you've done it. Thanks for watching.